uh, today's topic is uh, tooth morphology and its related geometric concepts. Uh, one of the reasons why geometric concepts are important for tooth morphology is that uh, as clinicians, as uh, dentists, uh, they are required to uh, either recreate uh, the tooth structure that is lost through caries uh, or uh, damage through other means. Uh, so uh, the concepts of uh, uh, geometry and form and function are equally important uh, for so, so that uh, not only restorations can be placed, but uh, restorations that not only uh, replicate uh, the tooth form, but also uh, they could function well in the oral cavity. So today's uh, learning objectives uh, are to describe the facial, lingual, and proximal aspects of all teeth, uh, and to summarize the schematic outlines of teeth and dental arches. Finally, uh, we'll be relating the tooth geometry to form and function. So a little bit, uh, a brief overview of uh, the geometry of teeth. So a rectangle has four sides uh, and the opposing sides uh, are equal in length uh, and they are four right angles. So there are four acute angles and there are four sides. While a square has four sides of equal length and four right angles. Uh, in a triangle, there are three sides and three angles, whereas a trapezoid has four sides and two are parallel to each other, while two are not parallel to each other. Uh, and these surfaces, they are not parallel to each other. Um, and uh, there are two acute angles and two obtuse angles, while a rhombus uh, has four sides and uh, two of them are parallel to each other these two sides they are parallel to each other while the other two sides they are not parallel and two of the uh, four angles are acute and two are obtuse the reason why we are uh, sort of revising the geometry uh, is not uh, so that you can revise your previous geometry that you have uh, learned in your uh, primary or secondary school but uh, the reason why is that because the tooth form actually uh, resembles the geometry of some of the shapes that we have discussed right now and uh, it has clinical implications as you will be able to uh, not only to study the teeth properly but we are able to recreate uh, the same geometry if any of the structures of the teeth are lost. So all crowns from the facial are lingual aspect are trapezoidal. Here you can see the trapezoid. So a general rule is that all teeth, whether they are from the facial aspect, whether they are from the lingual aspect, whether they are incisors, whether they are molars, all of them, they resemble a trapezoid. While the shorter of the parallel side, here as you can see, the shorter of the parallel side uh, is placed gingivally while the longer side is incisal or occlusal. So maxillary posterior teeth from the uh, proximal aspect are trapezoidal. Uh, they're also trapezoidal, but the difference is that uh, the shorter, as you can see, both of these structures, they resemble a trapezoid. But the difference between the facial legal surfaces uh, is that the longer of the parallel sides will be gingival will be gingival so you see the longer side is in the gingival while the shorter side is on the occlusal aspect okay so mandibular posterior teeth from the proximal aspect they resemble a rhomboid so this is how the maxillary posterior teeth be it premolars be it uh, uh, motors, both of them they actually resemble a rhomboid. Uh, by proximal aspect, we mean the, medi the mesial and the distal aspects of maxillary posterior teeth that resemble a rhomboid. And the reason why they resemble a rhomboid is because these teeth are actually tilted lingually. The crowns of these of mandibular posterior teeth are tilted lingually, and because of this lingual tilt or lingual inclination, uh, 
uh, which is around 45 degrees with respect to the long axis of the tooth they actually start resembling the geometric shape of a rhomboid uh, now we'll come to the maxillary and mandibular anterior teeth from the proximal aspect that is from the mesial aspect or from the distal aspect so both of these uh, anterior teeth from the proximal aspect they resemble a triangle where the apex is towards the incisal edge or the incisal ridge so the maxillary and mandibular anterior teeth from the proximal aspect they resemble a triangle and the base of the triangle is gingival while the apex is towards the incisal edge or incisal ridge. Now let us look at a brief overview of the geometric concepts related to tooth morphology. From the facial aspect, all of the uh, three kinds of teeth, the lateral incisor, the central incisor, the premolars and the mandibular first molar, they all resemble a trapezoid from the facial aspect. And from the lingual aspect, they also resemble a trapezoid. Okay, so the major differences can be observed when we view these teeth from uh, the proximal aspect, that is from the mesial or from the distal aspect. So uh, the maxillary and mandibular anterior teeth from uh, the proximal aspect, they resemble a triangle, while the maxillary posterior teeth from the proximal aspect resembles a trapezoid and the mandibular posterior teeth they resemble a rhomboid so the only teeth that resemble a trapezoid from all of their uh, four surfaces that is from the facial surface from the lingual surface and from the mesial and distal uh, surfaces are the maxillary posterior teeth and specifically the maxillary molar the maxillary first molar and the maxillary second molar